Right, now we've looked so far at differentiation involving fractions and just introduction to differentiation. We haven't yet looked at differentiation involving roots, which can be quite difficult. So let's have a look at a couple of examples of differentiation involving some roots, so some powers that are fractions, basically. So this one, we're told that y equals 6x to the power of 4 over 3. Now, remember, when you're differentiating, you multiply by the power and then subtract one off the power. So, we've got to do 6 times 4 thirds. Now, let's just do a little bit of work at the side, just to make sure we get the right answer. So, 6 times 4 over 3. Now, remember when you're multiplying fractions, you times the top and the bottom. Now, at the moment, this 6 hasn't got a, a denominator, but you should know that the answer 6 is the same as doing 6 divided by 1. So, we could rewrite this as 6 over 1. And then it becomes quite easy, because you can multiply the tops together, the numerators, and multiply the denominators together. So, 24 over 3. Now, 24 over 3 means 24 divided into 3 equal parts, and 24 divided by 3 equals 8. So, the value in front of the x, the coefficient of x, is going to be 8. So, we can now go back to our answer, and it's 8, okay, and x. Now, we've got to take one off the power, so 4 thirds minus 1, it's like saying four thirds take away three thirds, so that leaves us with one third. Now, to finish this off, let's just rewrite, instead of leaving this as x to the power of a third, let's rewrite this as a root. Now, one over three means the third root of x, so it's the cube root of x. Right, now, that's the first question, and remember there's nothing wrong with doing your own little bit of work in side like I've done here. It'll help you get the correct answer, so let's do it. This one, slightly more difficult, because this first question, the first part here, y equals, in brackets, the cube root of x, all to the power of 5, plus x squared. Well, this first bit hasn't been simplified into a fraction yet. So, let's do that first. So, you've got x cube rooted to the power of 5. So, firstly, let's rewrite this bit here. So x, the cube root of x. Now the cube root of x is the same as saying x to the power of a third. And that is all still raised to the power of 5. Now remember, when you've got indices in brackets, you multiply the powers. So you're going to multiply 5 times a third. And 5 times a third is the same as x to the power of 5 over 3. So that is what this part is equivalent to. So now let's rewrite a question we're going to answer as the following. So it's y equals x to the power of 5 over 3 plus x squared. Now we can differentiate this. So dy by dx is equal to times by the power, so 5 over 3 times x. Now you've got to take 1 off the power, so 5 thirds take away 1, leaves us with 2 thirds, and the x squared part differentiates to 2x.